hi aquarius aquarius sun moon rising venus welcome to your daily energy reading aquarius sun moon rising venus welcome to your daily energy reading let's find out what is happening in your energy at this point aquarius sun moon rising venus holy spirit my angels my guides my ancestors what are the messages for aquarius today Hierophant, what are the messages for Aquarius today? Page of Wands, Temperance, Four of Wands, The Moon. Six of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Death, The Empress, Five of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups. We have the Ace of Wands as your overarching energy here. Aquarius, I'm getting there's a big blessing that is coming your way here with this Ace of Pentacles. It could be coming in very slowly with this Knight of Pentacles here. But there's a big blessing. This is going to bring a lot of stability in your energy here. Some of you could be dealing with Sagittarius energy with this Temperance. But something you're required to do things in moderation and be patient here. There's a big blessing coming your way. It's going to make you very happy with this Nine of Cups here. I'm also getting that there was a marriage here. It's either that there is talks about marriage with your partner, you could be talking about getting married or this is someone that you were married to or this person could be thinking about marrying you. There's someone here that is um, considering marriage with the Hierophant and the Four of Wands. Something that has to do with the marriage here. So some of you could be getting married in the near future. You could be thinking about getting married. There's someone that you're connected to that is thinking about marrying you. Some of you could have been married. There's someone from your past here. This person could be coming with this offer. There's a big offer coming your way. I'm also getting that a past person that you could have had arguments with with this five of wands. This person is missing you a lot. And you might not be aware of this with this moon energy here. So you, I, I, I'm getting that you're not even thinking about this person. And this person is thinking about you a lot. This person could be wanting to come and offer you something here with this ace of pentacles. They're wanting to bring a, uh, some stability into your life, Aquarius. Something came to an end with this death, death and rebirth. I'm also getting an energy of transformation because the, nine, the nine of cups is here. So I'm getting that there's something that is changing. Some of you are going through a transformation. It's going to bring a lot of happiness and success your way with this nine of cups. Wish fulfillment. It might be coming in very slowly here with this knight of pentacles here. I'm also getting Aquarius. This person that you could have been dealing with here sees you and this Empress energy. This person puts you on a pedestal. They see you as someone that is very nurturing, very attractive. You have your life in order. The Empress doesn't chase. You attract. And you might not be able to, to, to see this person coming here with this moon energy. You are not aware of this. There's, some, there's someone in your energy that is thinking about marrying you. This person sees you as like marriage material. Please note that tarot is gender fluid. You could be a male in this empress energy. There's someone that you're connected to that is considering marrying you. This could be someone from your past or someone new. 
We have the page of wands and the six of cups. This is new energy. I'm also getting communication. There's someone from your past that is wanting to communicate and send you messages. I'm also getting with this five of wands next to the empress. There's somebody that feels like there's someone that feels like you get a lot of attention. This person feels like there's a lot of competition around you. You're somebody that is beautiful. You're attractive. You're handsome. Like you, you have everything that you need. Please note that wealth is not only about material things. Like there's just something about your energy that is very attractive. You are very nurturing. You're very, you have a lot of abundance. Your spirit is abandoned. And this person feels like there's a lot of competition around you with this five of ones. They feel like they have to fight for your attention, your affection. You might not be able to see this coming. You might not be aware of this energy that I'm seeing here. But this could be someone from your past with the six of cups here. Let's clarify your reading. What is that hierophant for Aquarius? Holy Spirit, my angels, my guides, my ancestors. What is that hierophant for Aquarius? And then we have the three of pentacles, Aquarius. There's someone that is really considering a marriage here. I'm also getting the, this could be someone that you work with. Or that you could have met this person at work or in a work situation here. I'm also getting the someone that just wants to collaborate with you in a marriage. I'm also getting someone wants to work. They want to work on a marriage with you here. This could be still be energy that is coming your way or this is still in your this is in your energy right now currently. There's someone that is seriously considering a marriage with you and they feel like things are going to work out with you. I'm also getting somebody feeling like uh, a marriage with you is going to bring a lot of abundance their way with this ace of pentacles here. Four of wands, hierophant, this is serious a marriage, um, high level of commitment. Even if it's not like a traditional marriage, I'm getting like a high level of commitment. That can end up bringing a lot of stability with this ace of pentacles. What is that hierophant for Aquarius? So let's pray with my angels, my guys, my ancestors. We have the hermit. There's someone in your energy. This person could have ghosted you when silent. And the hermit wanted to come out in reverse. Some of you could be dealing with Virgo energy. This person who has been ghosting you, this person could have went no contact. They could be coming back, Aquarius. This person, they, they are hermit who is wanting to come out in reverse. So this is person, this is someone that is done contemplating. They've been thinking about it, introspecting about making things work with you in a marriage or offering you something stable, some, a high level of commitment. And this person is coming, Aquarius. They are no longer wanting to be in this hermit energy. They are coming to collaborate with you. This person could have ghosted you. They could have went silent. Because there's something that they had, to, they had to work on with regards to this issue. They needed to go inside of themselves. I'm also getting that this person, like, it's like, if there was pressure to marry, or you could have put this person under pressure to be married or start, stay married to you, they needed to know that this is their decision. So this person could have went silent and thought about things themselves. And this person is now realizing that they need to work with you. They need to work on this marriage. I'm also getting that they know that this is going to bring a lot of stability in their life. You could be hearing from this person with this page of wands. This person is feeling very optimistic with this page of wands and excited. A passionate beginning here. What is that page of wands? Holy Spirit, my angels, my guides. What is that page of wands for Aquarius? And then we have the page of wands clarifying the page of wands. You could be receiving a message, Aquarius. You know, when a card clarifies its own, like, you know, when I get a, a, the page of wands and the page of wands is clarifying the page of wands. So definitely a message. Some of you could be receiving communication from this person. I'm also getting a lot of excitement and attraction between you and this person. And a, a passionate new beginning here. Something is starting afresh. So this could be a from a past energy with the six of cups, or this could be like something new here. Or this could also be a past life connection with the six of cups. So even if you haven't met this person in this life, in this 3D world that we live in here currently, this is someone that you know from past life, from your past life. There's a new beginning, a passionate new beginning here, Aquarius. Some of you are going to be very excited with this page of wands, clarifying the page of wands. There's a lot of new energy coming your way, a lot of, a lot of excitement coming your way. Tell me more about this temperance for Aquarius, Holy Spirit, my angels, my guides, my ancestors. What is that temperance for Aquarius? You are required to be a patient, Aquarius. I'm also getting like an energy of like you. This Queen of Swords energy is your energy. You're very intelligent. You're logical. Something is requiring you to be logical. I'm also getting that you could be required to cut off some people out of your life if they are no longer serving you to allow something new to come in. Some of you could be dealing with Aquarius, Libra, Gemini with this Queen of Swords. We also have Virgo. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius with these pages here, the Page of Wands. We have Taurus with the Hierophant. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Scorpio energy here. Taurus again. There's something here, Aquarius, that you are requiring to see clearly. I'm also getting that there's something that you need to communicate to your person here or someone that you're connected to. 
some of you could be connected to a Sagittarius. You see, we have the star energy there, Aquarius. Someone sees you as wish fulfillment here. This is your energy. You are required to do things in, a, 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 in moderation with this temperance energy. Have some patience. This is your energy that I'm picking up here. There's somebody that is wanting to, deciding to come towards you. This person could be wanting to communicate something with you here. I'm also getting that something, you need to be patient once up while someone is going through this healing stage. Because temperance could also be healing and the star is also about healing. I'm also getting that some of you could be healing from something here. You might not be feeling well. And healing is, is coming. You're going to be fine if you're not feeling well here, Aquarius. There's some beautiful energy, the star and the queen of swords. This is definitely your energy. And I'm also getting, you see with this temperance energy, it's like where angels are watching over you here. I'm also getting that there's energy, there's angels that are watching over you, that are taking care of you, that are protecting you, that are, are providing healing for you. What is that for? Once for Aquarius, Holy Spirit, my angels, my guides, my ancestors. We have the queen, the king of wands. Some of you could be dealing with Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I'm also getting that someone is feeling very confident when it comes to you. They are feeling very determined. I'm also getting that this is someone that you are attracted to with this king of wands. This person also sees you as somebody that is very attractive. I'm also getting that this is someone, Aquarius, that is feeling... This person is like... Um, you are going to receive something here, Aquarius. You're going to be receiving a message. Some of you could be dealing with fire signs. This person is going to be wanting to offer you a marriage. You see how this queen of swords and the king of wands are just like looking at each other. This wand, I just see this wand, there's like communication here. There's somebody that is wanting to talk to you here, Aquarius, about a marriage. About like a high level of commitment. Tell me more about that for, for uh, ones for Aquarius. And then we have the Six of Cups. This could be somebody from your past with the Six of Cups energy. This could also be a past life person. I'm also getting that some of you have a lot of karmic debt. You have a lot of debt from past life um, energies. There's people from your past that owe you a lot. These people are going to be coming to offer you what they took from you, to give it back to you. In the Six of Cups energy, I just see you receiving something that was stolen, was once taken from you, from a past person. This person is wanting to come and offer you something here. I just see something here on the Six of Cups energy. It's like you are receiving something. There's someone that is really thinking about coming and giving you something that is very, like a high level of commitment, something that is very stable, long term. This, feeling, this person is feeling very determined and very much attracted to you. This is a past person, Aquarius, with the Six of Cups. So if it's not someone that you know from this past life, this could be like a, a, a past life connection. If it's not someone you know from this life, this is a past life connection. We have the Two of Cups here. So this is a divine counterpart that I'm picking up here. What is this moon energy for Aquarius? Why, what is Aquarius not seeing? The cycle is ending with this world. Someone could also be at a distance from you. And then we have the Four the four of wands. There's something that you are not seeing with regards to a marriage here, Aquarius. Let me tell me more, Holy Spirit, about that moon. You might not be getting this, Aquarius. A cycle is coming, it's ending here. If you've been going through this cycle where you feel like, oh, I'm never going to get married or I'm never going to be married. The queen of swords is usually, is usually very divorced energy, single, that air sign energy. Very logical, you know, you, you have learned your lessons in love. You have been through a lot. You've been heartbroken. You have healed yourself. Now you know better. You know how to, it's like you know how to navigate your way around the love department, Aquarius. And there's something that is coming your way that you are not seeing. Some of you could be getting married here with this fourth ones and the moon. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Ace of Wands. Some of you are getting offered a marriage here, Aquarius, the Ace of Wands. There's a passionate new beginning starting here. There's something that's going to make you very happy. There's a past person that is wanting to come and offer you a marriage here, Aquarius. If it's not a marriage, it's a high level of commitment. Or you could have been married to this person. There's something that is very... It's, this is not a relationship. I'm not seeing something that is just still new and um, maybe one night stand. This is very serious business that I see here. This is somebody that you... You could have been married to even in the past life. This was like your spouse. This is like this could also be like a spirit spouse, someone that you were married to in the past life. And this person is wanting to come and offer you a marriage with this ace of wands. What is the six of cups for Aquarius? Holy Spirit, my angels, my guides. We have the three of cups here. The three of cups is about celebration. There's someone from your past that is wanting to come and celebrate with you here. You see Aquarius, then we have the lovers. There's someone from your past, Aquarius. You make this person very happy and excited. 
I'm also getting that some of you, this person could also be your friend, where you see them as a friend. And this is your soulmate. You might, you might feel like this person is my friend, like we are just friends. You know, we've known each other for a long time. This is someone that I probably know from childhood with the Six of Cups. And this is like your person with this lover's energy here. This is like a soulmate energy that I'm picking up here. Divine counterpart. I'm also getting that some of you could be meeting this person while you are out having a good time with your friends with this Three of Cups. What is this Ace of Pentacles for Aquarius? Holy Spirit, my angels, my guides, my ancestors. We have the Ten of Pentacles, Aquarius. There's an offer, a marriage offer here. I'm serious. I'm serious. If you're not ready to get married, Aquarius, I don't know. Because this is what I see here. Some of you are going to be getting a marriage offer here. Ace of Pentacles, terrified by the Ten of Pentacles. There's something very serious that is coming. Something that is going to bring a lot of stability your way. Someone is getting ready to offer you a marriage. Someone is getting ready to take you very seriously. This person takes you very seriously, Aquarius. What is that death energy for Aquarius? Holy Spirit, my angels, my guides, my ancestors. And then we have the King of Swords. Some of you could be dealing with um, Scorpio energy. This person is in regret. There's someone from your past that is in regret. This, if this person has left you for like a third party, they are currently single with this Nine of, Pen Nine of Pentacles. This person is in serious, serious regret. They could have done something. I'm also getting that this is someone that ended things with you in a very cold way. This person hurt you a lot, Aquarius, and they are in serious regret. Some of you could be dealing with like Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, someone that could also have some Scorpio placements here with this death energy here. This person regrets whatever they said to you. The King of Swords has a tendency to be very, to be very, you know, cutthroat, assign energy and feeling. This person could have said, the King of Swords also has a tendency to be mean sometimes because he doesn't really, he's not really tapped into his emotions. So this person could have like broken up with you, hurt you, dumped you, cut you out of their lives. And this is your divine counterpart with this King and the Queen of Swords. But I'm getting that there's someone in your energy that is coming, that is coming. I don't know if this is like your past person or this is someone new with this King of Swords. If this is your past person, Aquarius, they're now determined to make things work. It's like this person is now looking at you like, like right straight they are looking right straight at, at you. This person misses you a lot. They regret whatever they said to you. This person said something, definitely said something to hurt you. They broke up with you. They could have, like, yo, I feel like this was very intense, Aquarius. This was very intense. But this person is in serious, serious regret with this Five of Cups. They regret what they said to you. What is that Empress for Aquarius, Holy Spirit? And then we have the Judgment card here. And then we have the devil here. There's an energy of obsession here. This person is seriously obsessed with you, Aquarius. This person puts you on a pedestal. I'm also getting that this person could have judged you harshly in a situation here. This person could have also, like, I'm also getting that, you know, they could have also told friends or family about you and you were judged harshly here. But this person cannot let you go. They are too... They are too connected to you. This is someone that is very toxically addicted to your energy. This person is in serious like regret. They think about you all the time. And this person is highly obsessed with you. Some of you could be dealing with like Capricorn energy. This could have been something that was very toxic. But with the devil clarifying this Empress energy, this is someone that puts you on a pedestal. This person, I'm also getting as someone that admires your beauty. They watch your pictures. If you have taken pictures with this person, even if you have not taken pictures with this person, this person is watching your social media. They could be watching your pictures. They are so obsessed with your beauty here. With this judgment here, the judgment could also be speaking of like a resurrection. This person could be wanting to like, you know, they want to bring back that feeling that they lost. What is that five of wands for Aquarius, Holy Spirit, my angels, my guides, my ancestors? And then we have strength. Some of you are dealing with Leo energy here. And then we have the fool. There's someone Aquarius that is holding back. It's like this person, they're, they're, it's like this person is struggling. They are struggling a lot. I'm also getting mental conflict. It's like they are fighting with themselves, Aquarius. They are holding back from you. And this is causing a lot of conflict in this person's energy here. And I, I'm also getting that this person, it's like they imagine you with other people. They feel like there's a lot of competition. You're dealing with other people. And they have to tame that lion within themselves. This is someone that is like willing to, wanting to fight for you. Wanting to fight for your affection. Wanting to fight for your love. Because they are so obsessed with you. This is someone that thinks about you a lot. However, they have to keep on holding back. 
but they are wanting this they want to take a leap of faith this this full energy here they want to take this leap of faith some of you could be dealing with aries or leo energy here this person is very much attracted to you aquarius i'm also getting that this person was foolish this person is someone that was just foolish they made they could have made a wrong choice and walked and went towards another person here they could have went towards a leo they are wanting to take this leap of faith towards your careers. This person cannot. It's like they are battling with themselves and they are having to hold back. This holding back, them holding back from you, it's like causing a lot of conflict because they want to. They see, feel like there's a lot of competition around you. They are obsessed with you. You need to take care of yourself. You know, this person could also be watching you, driving by your house, stalking you. They stalk you a lot. I'm also getting someone that will be creating like. Um, fake pages if you're on social media to be checking you out some of you have private accounts on social media so this person has to like you know create fake pages you don't know you might not see this person but this person is always watching you what is this knight of pentacles we have the nine of swords this is someone aquarius that is coming in very slowly here i'm also getting that money could be coming in very slowly for you and it's causing a lot of stress with this nine of swords energy it's like you're very stressed out about this something coming very slowly into your energy some of you are stressed out. It's like you feel like maybe I'm never going to get married. You're in this Queen of Swords energy. The Queen of Swords is very, is very is divorced. You know, she's not really feeling. She has, she's very wise. She has learned the lessons of love. She's been very giving in the past, very loving in the past. Please note that tarot is gender fluid. You can be a man and in that Queen of Swords energy where you could have been very loving, very, you know, and then now you have learned your lessons. Now you have your sword up. It's like your guard is up. You're protecting yourself. You're protecting your heart. You have learned all the lessons here. And please, like Aquarius, you need to heal that kind of energy. It's okay for you to be logical and be wise and, you know, Pay, pay attention to the red flags and cut off people that are not serving you. But please don't miss out on an opportunity to experience all this joy that I see here. Stability, soulmate, love, marriage. Uh, something that brings a lot of stability and finance your way. Because you're too hung up on that king, queen of swords energy where you're like, I, I don't want to be foolish. Something is coming in very slowly and it's causing a lot of anxiety your way with this nine of swords. This could be money coming in very slowly. Tell me more about that um, knight of pentacles. Holy Spirit, my angels, my guys, my ancestors. And then we have the magician. Something is taking time to manifest, Aquarius, and it's, it's uh, causing a lot of stress in your in your energy at this point. I'm also getting the someone that is wanting to come back here. We have the King of Cups. There's someone in your energy that has a lot of emotions and love for you. Something is happening very slowly in this person's energy. This person is also very anxious and stressed out. However, they're wanting to manifest you. This is someone that sees you as somebody that's very magnetic. You are a master manifester in this person's eyes. You are someone that is like it's like. I'm also getting that this is someone that sees you as a very intelligent person. They have a lot of emotions for you with this King of Cups here. With this magician, some of you could be dealing with Gemini. Somebody could have also been manipulative here. This person is getting, is getting, this person is getting frustrated that things are taking time. There's something that is, is moving very slowly in this person's energy. They want to come and offer you something that's going to make you very happy and make them very happy. You're like a wish fulfillment. But things are kind of happening very slowly and this is causing a lot of anxiety and stress in your person's energy, Aquarius. It's like this person wants this manifestation to okay like yesterday. It's like they're getting impatient. This person is trying to manifest you back into their lives and they feel like things are taking time. What is this nine of cups for Aquarius? Holy Spirit, my angels, my guys, my ancestors. You, if you want to get a personal reading, Aquarius, the information is on the description box. Please note that personal readings can take like 72 hours because I get a couple, of, a lot of requests. And I don't want to just be rushing through readings and just give you false information. I need to take my time. So you need to be patient after you pay for a reading and wait for your reading to be done. We have the page of swords. There's someone that is spying on you, watching you here. We have the Knight of Wands. This person is seriously, this, this person is attracted to you here and they are planning. They are making plans to come towards you with this Three of Wands here at the bottom of this deck. You could have walked away from this person with this Eight of Cups or they could have walked away from you. This person could be at a distance. This person is watching you. They want to rush in. This person is someone that is also very passionately, it's like they're very passionate. 
this person is addicted to you i just had also addicted to your body here we have this uh devil clarifying the empress energy here this is someone that's addicted to your body i also had something about smell there's something that's that you like some of you smell very good and this person is addicted to that smell that you have your pheromones even if you're not someone that uses like perfumes and colognes there's something about your your stench that makes this person like so obsessed with you this person is attracted to your body. They like you. They, they love you. They're obsessed with the way you look. I'm also getting that this is someone that you were quite physical with. And they could be like very much attached to that part of the relationship where there was a lot of passion. A lot of like attraction, passion here. The king of wands, the knight of wands. They want to rush in very quickly here. This person is spying on you. Someone could also be pleasuring themselves to your pictures. I, I just got that. On social media or you could have sent them like some sexy pictures or some sexy content whatever they like to it's like they like to watch you and they they could be pleasuring themselves while while they are watching you here this is someone that stalks you aquarius so this is someone that you know you might not be aware that this person is watching you because you might feel like but this person dumped me they, they they're the ones that left me like you know they act like they don't care they're in this king of swords energy where they just they don't care and they just ended things with me. They walked away from me. How are they obsessed with me? You don't see this with this moon. This is not something that you are aware of, but this is someone that you are, is. This person takes you very seriously. This is not someone that is going to be wanting to be like, okay, I just want to go on a date. And this person is going to be like, okay, I'm serious. This is, you are my person. I want to marry. I want to take you seriously. I want us to, I want you to marry me. If you're dealing with a female and you're a male that is watching this, this person is like, I see you as my husband. I see you as someone that I want to marry. I see you as my wife. I see you as someone that you, I want, I, I want you to marry me. Let's move in together. Let's build a family together. Let's build our finances around each other. There's a lot of attraction here. It's not only attraction. I just get a lot of love. There's someone in your energy that also feels like you are their soulmate. This person is obsessing about you, eh? It's very obsessive energy here. So you might know who this person is, Aquarius. If you don't know who this person is, I don't know. But this is someone that is seriously, seriously attached to you, energetically speaking. So this person might not be in your energy at this point, but this is someone that is obsessed and attached to your energy. Let's get messages from your person, Aquarius. Okay, before we get messages uh, from your person, and I'm also going to find out what this person's future actions are towards you. That will be posted on my Patreon. Please kindly join my Patreon. It's only $5 a month. It's, only, it's also a way for you to, you know, like uh, donate to the channel so I can be able to, to buy more equipment and ensure that I give you guys proper, proper content, get more decks, get lighting. Because right now I'm just like, yeah freestyling my way with this i want to get the best and the best for you guys get microphones and all that so you can join my patreon it's five dollars a month so on patreon we'll find out what this person's next actions are towards you and how are they seeing you at this point and if there's any messages they want to say to you and how will you know who this person is and when are they coming back that will be on patreon but before we go to patreon i just want to find out more about this connection Holy Spirit, my angels, my guides, my ancestors. Tell me more about this connection. I just want one card to fly out. Tell me more about this person. Be optimistic. Keep in mind that you create your reality. You can't attract love with a negative mindset. Tell me more. Separation, time apart from your person is on the horizon. Divine timing, be patient while things are unfolding. This connection is worth the wait. Some of you could have been like, uh, you could have went uh, your separate ways with your person. This is someone that you ended things with in the past. Express your love. It is important to let, to let people know that you love them. You have nothing to lose. I'm also getting that this person will be expressing their life love to you. If this is someone that walked away from you, Aquarius, I would not advise you to contact them first. This person must come and contact you first and apologize for whatever they did and make things right. And if you want to take this person back, take them back. But don't be, 
Don't be like that person that is um, contacting people first, even though they are the ones that walked away from you and hurt you, put you in third party situations. Don't be the person that is always like um, reaching out first. That will always put you in a position to lose. Playing negative scenarios in your head is creating issues which went there at first. Some of you are overthinking. You're creating a lot of like um, fears in your head. And there are issues that are not even there. You're just thinking things that are not there. Make the effort. This love is worth taking risks. You are called to move forward. You are strong when you carry love and forgiveness rather than anger. Forgive and release. Some of you might need to forgive this person and move on if you want to move on. Open yourself to love. It is safe for you to let your heart be seen. Don't be scared. If you want to get a personal reading, Aquarius, get a personal reading. I also, I'm also going to find out on Patreon what are the challenges in this connection. What is the reason why things are taking so much time? Because I did see like a delay in your person's energy. They feel like things are taking so much time to manifest. I want to find out why are they taking so much time? What is happening? Is there a third party? Is this something that you should be worried about? That would be on Patreon, Aquarius, $5 a month. You just like subscribe once. And every time I do a reading here, I'll do an extended on Patreon. Sometimes I post readings on Patreon that are not here on YouTube. And sometimes some readings that you get on YouTube, they could have been posted on Patreon maybe like three weeks ago, a month ago, because I post a lot of content on Patreon. So it comes here on YouTube maybe like three weeks later or a month later. It's just a way for me to pull back into my channel. So let's go on Patreon, Aquarius, and find out. Let's find out. Let's go to Patreon and find out first things what i'm gonna ask first on patreon is um how is this person seeing you when they think about you right now how are they seeing you maybe they also give you a clue on who this person might be and then i'm going to ask what are their future plans towards you what plans are they what, what are their future actions towards you what are their intentions when it comes to you and then i will ask about the challenges in this connection what are the challenges why is it taking so much time and then is there a third party and how are they feeling about that third party at this point? Is the third party, how does the, is the third party aware of you? How does that third party view you? Any messages that they want to send to you, if there's any messages that they want to send to you, if they were to communicate to, with you at this point, what would they say? And when are they coming? Like the time frame, if we're going to be able to get a time frame and know when this person is coming. Yes, that will be on Patreon. And then some of you might feel like, okay, this is my reading. This might not be my reading. Then you want to know if this reading was, if this is your reading, that will be on Patreon. I love your careers. Thank you for watching. Even if you don't join Patreon today, it's still perfectly fine. You liking the video and subscribing is still more than enough. I really appreciate it. The fact that I do these videos and you tune in and you come and watch, it gives me a lot of courage to keep, and a lot of inspiration to keep on doing the videos. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Bye, Aquarius.